How long does it take to go to the moon and back? Let's clarify. It takes about three days each way, so six days round trip. The first time a spacecraft left the Earth with astronauts in it and reached the moon was in 1968, when NASA launched the Apollo 8 mission. They didn't get out of the spacecraft. Their ship circled the moon ten times. Uh, Apollo 8, Houston, uh, what does the old moon look like from 60 miles, over? Okay, uh, Houston. The moon is essentially gray. And then they came back to Earth. Now, about 50 years later, NASA and SpaceX, a private rocket company, would like to send the spacecraft out to the moon again. SpaceX wants to send two tourists inside a spacecraft for a week-long trip around the moon, with no landing, just looking out of the window. They want to do it by late 2018. NASA wants to send another spacecraft to circle the moon too at about the same time, but without people in it. Their spaceship would make a big loop, going about 40,000 miles beyond the moon and then coming back. This would be a three-week trip. NASA also plans on sending people to circle the moon by 2021. This type of trip requires a lot of planning. That's a very long trip. The moon is about 230,009 miles away from the Earth. The distance varies a bit. That's like if we put 30 years between our Earth and the moon. So, even if the moon looks like it's close to us, it's actually pretty far. Would you like to go on a week-long trip around the moon? Do you think spending vacations on the moon will ever be possible in the future?